good morning to all today we are going to discuss unit 3 flood and drought so under the topic of agricultural drought we are going to discuss today so the and successful completion of the course students will be able to assess the flood and the drought risk in terms of hazards and vulnerability and analyze the measure for mitigating and managing such risk that is analyze so through the agriculture drought we are going to analyze this in this topic the course outcome of this topic correlated with the program outcome 2 3 6 7 and the program specific outcome 1 the drought drought is defined as a period in which a region as a deficit in its water supply whether surface or underground water a drought can last for month or year or may be declared after as few as 15 days generally this occurs when a region receives constantly below average precipitation so see the right side of the diagram shown very clearly about the drops in the agricultural field area so a drought is an extended period of dry weather leading to extreme dryness. This result in a shortfall of water supply which has hydrological and agricultural impacts. Drought is different from most other hazards as it develops slowly as a creeping hazards. RDT and desertification are associated with the drought but they are not the same. Drought is characterized by moisture level below normal for the area affected. Some of the commonly used definition of the drought, the conceptual are the drought means a sustained extended deficiency in precipitation. The definition given by World Meteorological Organization 1986. The UN Convention to Combat Drought and Destification in 1994. Drought means the naturally occurring phenomena that exit when precipitation has been significantly below normal recorded levels causing serious hydrological imbalance that adversely affect land resources protection systems. The Food and Agricultural Organization 1983 of the United Nations the percentage of years when crop fail from the lack of moisture. See the drought classification. The draft are generally classified operational definitions into four categories. So, Wild Heat and Glads 1985, American Meteorological Society 2004, which include metrological, hydrological, agricultural, socio economics. The agricultural draft agricultural draft links various characteristics of metrological or hydrological. The draft to agricultural impact focusing on precipitation shortage difference between actual and potential evapotranspiration soil water deficit reduced groundwater or reservoir levels and so forth socio economics so see the right side of the picture how the society are affected due to only the drought so the socio economics this occurs when physical water shortage start to affect people individually and collectively are in more abstract terms most socio-economic deficiencies of the drought are associated with the supply and demand of on economic goods. So, in natural climate variability, meteorological drought, agricultural drought, hydrological drought. In meteorological drought, the precipitation deficiencies amount, intensity, timing based and reduced infiltration, runoff, deep percolation and groundwater research. Meanwhile, the precipitation based high temperature, high wind, low relative humidity, greater sunshine, less cloud cover, it will be increase the increased evaporation and transportation. It is under the control of meteorological drought. Once come to the agricultural land, the soil water deficiency, plant water stress, reduced biomass and yield. Whereas coming to the hydrological drought, reduced stream flow, inflow to reservoir, lakes and ponds, reduced wetland, wildlife habitat. So, it's all together first effect to the environmental impact, whereas is coming to the social impact, automatically coming to the economic impact due to duration of the time period. So, the drop damages directly loss of income, social distribution, famine and 
nutrition and death indirectly loss of rural and urban revenues fire hazards loss of water access whereas drop causes can be classified in two ways these are natural and human made through the natural the global warming deficiency of rainwater weather art plus drive hell neho social sorry soil erosion whereas human made over population over cultivation deforestation over extraction of groundwater than policies so this are the reference material thank you